For this problem, what do we need to do? We have a circle and we have three different uh, descriptions of the movement of the particle and we want to describe that movement in terms of parametric equations. So first observe that we need to do, we need to sketch our Cartesian graph. We have a circle uh, which is uh, uh, whose equation is x squared plus y minus 1 squared is equal to 2 squared. That means that our center of our circle is going to be at 0, 1 and our radius is 2. Or in other words, we're going to have a circle which is given by that blue dotted line. So let's do situation A. For that situation, first we have a starting point to 1. And we go around the circle once, clockwise. So that means what we're going to do, we're just going to go uh, down around the circle and come back to our starting point. Also, we know that if we have a parameterization x is equal to cosine t and y is equal to sine t, that that parameterization is going to be counterclockwise. So if we're going to change our uh, like x uh, to sine t and y to cosine t, then we're going to get a clockwise orientation. And to check that, just observe when t is equal to 0 and when t is equal to pi, we're going to obtain the following points. For t is equal to 0, I'm going to obtain point uh, 0, 1, and for t is equal to pi over 2, I'm going to obtain point uh, 1, 0. And then you can see that I'm going to go clockwise. And so what do you need to check? Uh, since I know the parameterization of circle, and if my circle moved uh, to the upward by one unit and my circle has a radius 2, then my parameterization x is equal to 2 sine t and y is equal to 1 plus 2 cos sine t are going to satisfy equation star, or in other words, the original equation of my circle. And also, as my parameter t doesn't have any coefficient, then when I'm going to change my t between 0 and 2 pi, that will be enough uh, to go go around the circle only once. So for our next situation, or in other words for scenario B, we're going to go around a circle three times and counterclockwise, and we're going to start at the same point. So again, like we're going to use in this case a uh, parameterization when we have counterclockwise. So what do we need to do? We need to take our answer for part A and just replace our sine and cosine with cos uh, our sine with cosine of t. So I'm going to obtain that x is equal to 2 cosine t and y is equal to 1 plus 2 sine t. And since when t changes between 0 and 2 pi, that means we're going to go around a circle once. So if we want to go uh, around circle three times that we need just to take our uh, boundaries uh, between 0 and 2 pi and multiply our like uh, right point by 3. Or in other words, I just need to change my t between 0 and 6 pi to go around a uh, circle uh, three times. And finally, for our last scenario, scenario C, what do we have? We're going to start at point 0, 3, and we're going to go halfway uh, counterclockwise. So for that, uh, let's first try to indicate our point on our Cartesian graph. And then since we're going to go uh, halfway around, then I need to change my t between 0 and pi. And counterclockwise means that I'm going to use parameterization where x is cosine t and y is sine t. So answer for that is going to be actually that x is going to be equal to 2 cosine t and our y is going to be equal to 1 plus 2 sine t. But here's a small trick that our t is not going to start at 0. Our t is actually going to start at pi over 2. But since we want to go halfway around, then my ending point is going to be pi over 2 plus pi. Or in other words, uh, it's going to be 3 pi over 2. And the reason why is because when t is equal to 0, my starting point is 2, 1. But when t is equal to pi over 2, then my starting point is going to be 0, 3. So that's why I need to start at t. Uh, is equal to pi over two, pi over two, and again, like since uh, to cover a whole circle, I need uh, a t uh, change between zero and two pi. So to cover a half a circle, I need uh, my t change between zero and pi. So that's why I my ending point is going to be pi over two plus pi. In other words, it's three pi over two. Okay, guys, thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you're not subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and have a nice day. Bye.